man, which means he doesn't lie, he doesn't make mistakes, there's no accidents with the creator of heaven and earth. He's perfect and holy in every way. We promote God to man, but God is not a man. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, which means that he must be a pretty powerful God that he spoke in the heavens before light came and darkness. You are made in the image of God. You are formed by His hand. God can lift you up and give you life if you trust in Him. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake His way and the unrighteous man His thoughts. Then turn to the Lord and you have mercy and to our God, for you are abundantly pardoned. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, says the Lord. Neither are my ways your ways. Neither are my ways in your ways, are my thoughts and your thoughts. God is saying, even when it doesn't make sense to your eyes, God is on the throne. He's in control. We say, why are we problems in life? Why do we see wickedness around? Even now, eating up our children. Why do we see? And the people, I for the things that you have done against him. of the sky with a storm under his feet, healing in his wings. What will we say when we stand before a holy God? What will you say? He said, man, he's going to say, Paul or Jack, whatever your name is, I sent people to you, you heard the gospel, you mocked, you scorned, you turned away, you said no thank you. Say it I don't want that for you. I care about you and I love you. I'm only here. Looking like a crazy person because I care about you and I love you. Because when you live for Jesus, when you live for Christ, He will change you. The Bible says the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. If you're lost, this looks foolish and crazy. But to those who are saved, it's the power of God. There is life in Christ. God bless you. There is life in Jesus. There's hope and healing in His wings. He will breathe life into you if you want to Him. He will give you so much joy and hope, understanding, direction, peace and purpose. But 
but God didn't put us here so that we can live for ourselves. Christ didn't die so that you might have your best life now. Joel Osteen is a wolf in sheep's clothing. God didn't put us here and he didn't die on the cross. His son didn't die on the cross so that we can have our best life now, so that we can be blessed. We're going to be blessed, but God is not here for us. He's here for us, but he's not in our beck and call, you understand? Many preachers, pastors, priests, whatever, will manipulate the word of God and try to use the Bible to say that Jesus is your genie in a bottle. This is not the truth, my friends. You are put here on this earth for the sole purpose of loving, worshiping, and glorifying God. That's it. And to extend the kingdom of God so that others might love, worship, and glorify Him. It's about Him. This life is not about you. This life is about Jesus. And your life would change if you would stop looking in the mirror so much. We're looking at self, we're self-absorbed, and that's why we're hurting and broken so much. If we would look at others, try to help them, pick them up, lift them up out of the pit, be selfless, we would see the beauty of life all around us, that God brings us together, connects us together so that we will have fellowship and glorify His name.
they all follow Jesus now. So, look guys, seriously, Jesus saved. Oh, no worries. <laughs> seriously, I'm on fire for him. I'll die for him.